Hi, I'm Eric with the Hedge Invest Africa Fund, giving the update for February. Fund was down about 4.3% during the month. Uh, we had a positive contribution from our fixed income portfolio, where basically the currencies were stable versus the euro. But where we did lose money, and especially in the last week of the month, was in our equity portfolio, where we lost money in our Nigerian bank positions, South African platinum miners, and our energy book. Uh, we did reduce our equities during the month from about 45% of the fund down to 35%, but uh, we still got a bit of a, a hit from the equity book. In comparison, the Dow Jones Titans Africa Index was down about 9.3% for the month. So it's been a tough year for African equities, but um, I think our main strategy is we just want to manage through this volatility and try and take advantage of some of the very low valuations and positive political reform happening across the continent. Uh, for example, during the month, we traveled to Zimbabwe. It was our second trip to Zimbabwe in a year. And uh, we like the changes we're seeing, although we recognize that it's very tough times in Zimbabwe right now. But one thing we are interested in is the government uh, appointed Mark Holtzman, uh, an outsider, an American, to take over the Commercial Bank of Zimbabwe. That's the biggest bank in Zimbabwe, uh, notoriously uh, connected to the ZANU-PF, very poorly run. It's very interesting they brought in this uh, Mark to turn this bank around. He is the chairman of Bank of Kigali in Rwanda, which has been a big success story. So uh, we went down there and spent some time talking with Mark about the changes happening in the country, which was very positive. We also met with the Reserve Bank in Zimbabwe and talked about the changes they're making to the command and control agricultural uh, system they've had for many decades, which has been a disaster. They're changing that and also the new foreign currency tra electronic trading platform they're setting up, which should improve the liquidity in the currency. No doubt, when you talk to Zimbabweans, it's uh, pretty bad out there. Uh, the power outages, uh, weak currency, and some poor crops this year. Uh, definitely sentiment is awful. Uh, but we think it's an interesting situation, and um, the tough times are forcing the government to make changes we've never seen them make before. Um, so we're interested in Zimbabwe, but we're just waiting for better liquidity in the currency. We're similar in South Africa. Um, we we're fortunate to be there during Sil Ramaphosa's State of the Nation address, and what struck me was um, just in general how the country's coming together, and both the ANC party and the opposition party both uh, really want Sil Ramaphosa to do well. Everyone wants him to succeed for the good of South Africa. We had great meetings with the South African companies, very well run, and management was very open. We learned a lot about the businesses and uh, improved our relationship with these companies. Uh, and I think we are going to get a great opportunity to buy some of these stocks at very oversold valuations. Uh, but again, we're probably waiting off, uh, waiting a bit on that. Finally, we went to Nigeria. It's always a great, uh, but our biggest takeaway was that the um, the currency is under pressure, and I think there could be a pretty big devaluation coming forward uh, in the near future. So, uh, Nigeria is very sensitive to the oil price, obviously, and uh, their foreign currency reserves have been declining as a result. Um, so we did, even despite the low of the banking stocks we owned, we did exit our equities in Nigeria as well as our fixed income portfolio. So markets have been tough this year and there's a lot of volatility, but I just want to let you know uh, we are still on offense. Uh, we've been moving things around. As I said, we reduced our, uh, eliminated our exposure to Nigeria, uh, around added to African gold mining stocks, and we have also uh, initiated some short positions that have come up, some ideas. So um, we are staying agile, staying on offense, and even though it's a tough year, we're going to try and still make money and uh, turn it into something good. Thank you very much.